Mike, a couple of the people who were out here on the lawn were actually a, a father and son who were inside their apartment in the top floor of that building uh, as that fire broke out. They said it was a store worker uh, from down here across the street who actually came up to that door, started banging on it, got them awake out of bed and got them safely out of that building. Uh, and then, of course, this lawn was full of people from around downtown who came out to see what was happening. You can see, obviously, it gives you quite a view of what's happening there. Uh, we're told that block housed all kinds of businesses over the years, a theater, a grocery, a school supply store. These days there was a post office and those apartments here. They're glad no one was hurt, but they say they're sad to say goodbye to so much of the town's history. While the firefighters battled the flames, the park across the street became a viewing area. No, he said the whole block of the post office is on fire, and I said, no kidding. Bo Campbell heard what was happening from his son. He spent 57 years in Millersburg and had to come see for himself. It, it, it's a disaster, I mean, because Nobody wants to see a place burn down or especially for a family to lose their everything they, they've worked for all their life. You know, it's a sad day. Justin Campbell grew up here too. To see something like this happen, you know, it could take months, even years to build back if they decide to build back, but you know, there's gonna be a big old hole in the city. That block's been through so much. It's seen pawn shops, it's seen veterinarian clinics, a movie theater, I believe, was down there at one point. Uh, it's just a lot of history going up in smoke right there. And he said the lawn they're all watching from has hosted countless festivals and concerts, all with that block as a backdrop. The buildings may be gone, three apartments destroyed, and several people homeless now. But he says what matters most is that no one's hurt, and the community will help them however they need. Uh, Chief Deputy with the Bourbon County Sheriff's Office told us that uh, three apartments were destroyed in that fire uh, and, and six people from those apartments are now without a home. The American Red Cross has been out here throughout the afternoon helping those people get squared away. We were just chatting with some people who said they do have family nearby they'll be able to stay with uh, for now. Uh, the fire crews you see behind me here are going to stay here throughout the night, keeping that water on the uh, the rubble there, making sure no hot spots flare up. Uh, no word exactly on how long that'll take, how long the road will be shut down, and certainly how long the investigation to figure out what caused this will take. Larry, we'll send it back to you in the studio.